Breaking news now, the Plymouth Canton School District votes to close two schools at a packed board meeting where emotions ran very high. 7 Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn joins us live tonight with a controversial decision. Jeff? Yes, yeah, Stephen, good evening. That vote came down just within the last hour, and the school board voted to close two schools. Parents and students armed with signs, standing against a school board to keep their classes open. But especially Allen. It has always been a special place for students, parents, and teachers. We are expected to trust in a thorough transition plan, even though we are not shown a thorough proposal. Tonight, the Plymouth Kenton School Board braced for the mounting anger after the district did a facilities and boundary study. It determined at least two schools need to close, and at least one more repurposed. The Plymouth Kenton School District has seen student population loss due to the lure of charter schools. Plymouth Canton has suffered financially and is projected to run a four to five million dollar deficit this year. The district says closing schools is the answer, and parents aren't happy. It is shameful that our Allen community is being sliced up like pizza. Adding to the anger was the district's move to include parents in an advisory board, where their feedback was to help the district make the right decisions on the school closings. The parents on the advisory board deemed Allen Elementary as one of the best in the district and that it should stay open. The board promised three committee meetings to discuss, but only allowed two before deciding Allen and its students have to go. Uh, last I checked, we are a school district, and the product that we sell is the education of our children. Uh, we entrust the education of our children to not only the administrators, but to the board as well, and uh, I really think that they failed us tonight. And that really is the sentiment of parents tonight. Uh, in addition to Allen Elementary closing, the district also closed Tanger Special Ed, which means that they will now repurpose Gallimore uh, Elementary School. That'll take in those special ed students. The district says this will save them about $2 million a year. This will all take effect next school year. Reporting live in Canton, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News.